Previously on BC's MC. The Honeydew 2.0 list. Just a truck sitting here is kind of weird, so I wanted to give him something that he could use to load and unload the uh, the goods that he has. Yeah, that looks cool. Cheese. All right. The torches all over spawn. Okay, that's outside spawn. All over spawn are gone. Come on, lights. There they go. There they go. And they're all connected to this tower. And so I wanted to create another tunnel. It was one of the things on our honeydew list right here uh, is to create a tunnel down to the beacon network. Now, once I put an emerald in the chest, this whole system is primed to work for me. And all I gotta do now is push this button, and the exact ingredients needed for a cake come out of the floor. One, two pieces of sugar, three pieces of wheat, and an egg. Oh yeah. Go ahead and put torches out here like this. Yeah. And we're gonna bury right, we're gonna burrow right into this nether rack, and inside there will end up being a hub. Uh, and from that hub, you'll be able to go to all three different strongholds. Buongiorno amici, ciao a tutti, sono BC, and welcome back to my world. Just hanging out down here with Adam and uh, the other two stooges. Uh, what's up? And uh, Adam has been hooking me up. I had some, uh, I had some iron laying around, and I needed to repair logs and hogs and the plasma torch. So old buddy here hooked me up with a new axe and a pickaxe. So let's just fix those real quick while we got a chance. And uh, yeah, so just getting this set. I've been doing so much grindy work. This week has been fantastic. It's been amazing. And uh, as you know, this week has been Christmas week, uh, the week in which Christmas fell. It'd be cool if Christmas was a whole week, but it's not. So, um, so yeah, we. Uh, Okay. Um, so this week has been uh, been fantastic, and uh, not much has been going on except for Christmas, <laughs> which has been amazing. Uh, and believe it or not, we actually got snow here in Italy uh, about a day or so after Christmas, which was freaking awesome. Uh, it hasn't snowed here in a few years. Um, the last time it snowed literally was a couple years ago. Um, last year was a completely dry winter, and it was really totally succotash. Uh, but this this uh, this last weekend it snowed, and uh, it was fun. So that's kind of another reason why I'm a little uh, I'm a day late in putting this video out from normal. Typically, I try to get these videos up on the on the tubes on Sundays, uh, but uh, taking an extra day, and there's good reason for it. Because I have been just working away in the world here. Hey, guy. Um, working away in the world and uh, doing a lot of grindy stuff. Just trying to get things closed out. Oh, gosh. This is like Mob Central. Go. Um, because, uh, you know, I'm trying to get this... Uh, we're trying to get this list closed out. This honeydew list. And that's what we're doing today, doggone it. We're going to get this thing closed out. So... First things first, we're going to go out here to the uh, the carnival area, and uh, I'll show you the progress on it. Now, I know before, you know, we talked about designating and establishing and designing. You know, 
you know how I, I really prefer this world to be pretty organic. Uh, so I'm not going to worry too much on the design. We're just going to kind of work that out as the park comes along. But I think this thing is good to go. I've cleared out a lot of the, uh, the grass, smoothed out quite a bit of the terrain, uh, and, uh, and widened this whole area out. And you can see there's still some mushrooms over there. Um, I gotta take out, well not take out, but I wanna try and recoup them. You used to be able to get that mushroom uh, block, the brown one, and now all you get is the uh, the uh, the spotted, the red spotted one, and I think you get the red spotted one from the brown mushrooms too. So I'm waiting until I can get some silk touch, and uh, I'm gonna try and recover those mushrooms and see if I can get both. But this area out here is done. Ladies and gentlemen, for right now it's done. You can see I did some terra, uh, terra firm, uh, terraforming and uh, made a lake. Hey, hey, made a lake and uh, another lake over here, and you know everything's going pretty uh, swimmingly. <laughs> so yeah, this area is good to go. It is done, and I don't think no, I don't have my book on me. Makes me wonder where is the book. Indeed. Alright, so we will have to find the book. Alright, I think I put it in a chest somewhere. That's kind of important. Alright, we'll make sure we find that. Guys, I think this was like ultra hardcore mode or something. Um, so, that area is done. We can call that done. The other area that we want to check out real quick is the stairs that lead down to the beacon network. And I want to show you what I did with those because those are also completed. And uh, I went ahead and fixed multiple ways to get down to that area. So that should be good. Um, what else has been going on? So this week was kind of a fun week of hanging out. Uh, like I said, you know, I wasn't off of work. I didn't take any vacation time, but definitely have a lot of downtime to uh, just kind of chill out and uh, spend some time at home hanging out with the kids. And uh, and I decided, I, I don't know how it started, but I was having a conversation. Okay, whoops. Man, I'm getting senile. Having a conversation with the kids about uh, whether or not they've ever seen Beavis and Butthead, and they told me they hadn't. So you already seen this tunnel. And I showed you the beginnings of this one, but it goes all the way down. And I'm not going to keep going because you're likely to vomit because it just goes around and around and around. But it goes all the way down to the basement level and intersects a hallway that goes between two beacons. So, this area. Check. Alright. So, Beavis and Butthead. Kids had not seen Beavis and Butthead. Mom is kind of anti-Beavis and Butthead. And that's cool. I I'm cool with that. Uh... But uh, we ended up doing some uh, Beavis and Butthead searching on the, the Hootubes. And uh, and <laughs> it turned into like a Beavis and Butthead marathon day. And, uh, and Thurby came downstairs and saw all the kids and I like sacked out around the computer watching episodes of Beavis and Butthead. And uh, let's just say her reaction was a little mixed. But uh, it was it was fun nonetheless. And... Uh, we had a good time, and I actually just, while I've been doing some last minute grindy stuff, um, actually just finished watching the Beavis and Butthead Do America movie, so that was cool. Haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, and we need to check our gifts too. We'll check those in just a little bit. And I'm serious, I'm having the worst senior moment right now. So let me go find my chest of supplies and the honeydew list, and I'll be right back. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, random, <laughs> right here. All right, let's start by writing in this book. All right, so let's see. Um, designed it, still establishing and designed. Nope. I think <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Inside joke. Uh, if you remember back to the episode, I was working with uh, a certain anonymous guy down in the um, in the uh, the Nether. Uh, that was his uh, tagline. You know, nope. I think I'm done. So today, whoop, today's the 29th of December, 2014. The year is almost to a close. All right, 
We are going to check that out in just a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, okay, we talked about that. That was complete already. All right. Oh, and I added one more thing. Finish the nether hub already. Let me show you that. That is where we're going. So let me get all this crap out of my inventory. And let me take all this stuff. Because we're going to need it. Tally-ho! All right, so I'm hanging out inside these portals because the freaking pigmen are like eternally aggro. And that is the most annoying daggone thing in this freaking game now. And I don't know how to stop it. I even went around for like an hour with strength potions, one-shotting all of them, and they just never stopped being mad, even though they had no way to call out to their buddies. So what I'll do every once in a while is like hide in this center portal and just let them disappear to the overworld, but it doesn't stop. They just keep coming. It's stupid, so I wish it would get fixed. But check this out. So we started working on that archway. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're just going to have to fight pigments the whole time. Started working on that archway. Look at this. Oh, snap. Beautiful. Oh man, let me tell you what, I got so inspired when I was building this, and uh, myself and Creeper Hugger were just hanging out down here, put on some, <laughs> do a YouTube search for Christmas music dubstep mix, and that's what we were listening to. And as you can see, up there there's some intricate lattice work, and you see how it's, it's on a different plane than the top. This is awesome. I'm really loving the way this turned out. But I want to show you what's going on up there with that lattice work. And to do that, we're going to utilize our stronghold tunnel. Oh man, can you see the lag from all the freaking pigment? So we're going to use our stronghold tunnel and right here in this little jail cell... Ooh, secret entrance! And I've made it all kind of blown out, but it's it's covered in glass, so you can't... It can't get hurt. Nothing can see you. But, uh, yeah, it's made to look all wrecked. And this just takes us all the way up to the top. And if you remember a long time ago, I told you I was making a mezzanine up around the top here. And this is where it comes into play. So I started doing some designs around the mezzanine on the outer side here. And as you can see from up here, this is our cobblestone fence structure. And it's designed to be like a netting that's suspended over the entire nether hub area and see how it's anchored at the corners. Let's see if I can get over there without dying. Is this random? No, it's not random. It started as random, but it's an exact pattern in all directions. But yeah, you can see how it goes off and it's anchored in the corner and anchored there. So it's, it's supposed to look like kind of a stretched out tarp that's uh, that's anchored over the uh, the entire spance of the nether hub. And then all this area up here, it's all glass and uh, and lower slabs. So uh, under slabs, I don't I don't know, the bottom half of slabs. So everything here is glass and slabs. Nothing can spawn up here on the top, which is terrific. So let's see. Got it. Look at all them guys. Oh, they are really pissed off. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... So, yeah, I really dig the way this turned out. And I hope you do, too. So leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd be really interested to hear. Amici. All right, let's try and get down here and not die about it. Oh, jeez. See? This is... We are eternally grateful. All right, let's just go down this way. All right, so that is the nether hub. Oh, here they come. All right, so I'm just going to duck in the middle here. And these guys can all just go away. Now, every once in a while, a guy will get through. And I think Creeper noticed that it's the guy with the enchanted sword that seems to get through, which is really strange. So hopefully... Cat, do something. Jeez. I hear a 
guy growling. All right, so let's see here. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I get so turned around in this place. Uh, okay, over here. So that was one thing. Now the other thing is, I told you that we were gonna keep continuing on and burrowing into the hallway or into the uh, die. Uh, we're gonna burrow into the wall here, and that is what we did. But again, I'm continuing on with my glass floor. I really like the working with glass and the nether. I think it kind of maintains some of the charm. You know, you can see everything. You're not so caved in. Uh, you know, the nether's not gorgeous, but it's still awesome. So we have a bunch of different tunnels. This tunnel heads off to one of the forts or one of the uh, hubs. There's one, and there's one. So we're gonna take this one, and I have. I haven't finished it for a reason, and I made it so it spiraled around our stair uh, spire, I guess, uh, that we've used forever and ever. We're going to go ahead and take this down. Now, because I have solid stone on here, it blacks out going around corners, so it's not too ultra awesome. But anyway, look, the ceiling's going to be missing up here because I've been working from both ends. And check this out. snap isn't that freaking awesome me piace all right yep more mad guys good job for you be angry so each one of these tunnels same design this one's still missing colors I got to come back and finish it and then they all lead to these chambers at the end of the line and uh don't go in the portal. Gotcha. So these chambers, and they're like a diamond-shaped chamber. I'll have to show you one from the outside at another time. And then each one leads right into the uh, the stronghold room uh, with, with each of our places. So I am going to head back uh, right now because I think I've shown you everything. And again, this one, all of them are finished. All the ways to get to the different uh, end portals are complete. I just need to finish enclosing this tunnel, but I left it open just so uh, we can get this sweet shot of the bottom of our nether hub, which just looks so awesome up in the sky. And, you know, I never intended that to look like an, a wither star, a nether star, but it does, huh? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. See, there's one of the chambers right there. You can see it's kind of diamond shaped. Oh, check this out. I learned this trick recently. Optifine. Oh, oh crap! Ah? <laughs> uh -huh. Pretty cool. I feel like I'm wearing Coke bottle glasses. Alright. Back to game. Alright. Let me bonk my head all the way up this thing since we lost our cart, and I'll meet you at the top. All right, Amichi, we are back, and this is going to be hard. So my plan is to finally build this entrance that goes to our wither farm, and we're going to do it. We're going to drudge through it as we're being attacked every stupid 20 seconds by stupid pigmans because of the stupid code that just is never-ending terror. All right, so... Oh, gosh. I'm gonna die. <sighs> All right. So, this, as we know, goes to our wither farm. And, like I said, each tunnel I want to build is uh, indicative of where it goes, right? We don't want to use signs. We want to be able to look at it and be like, yes, that's where I need to go. So... What? It's not getting these crits are gonna kill me. Alright, so with this one, we're gonna build a uh, like nether fortress. Alright? And I'm not gonna build a perfect nether fortress. I wanna kinda uh I guess kinda Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! This is stupid. All 
All right, I'm retreating back to the portal. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. I'll be right back. Yep. Slain by zombie pigman. <sighs> Stupid game. <laughs> Fix your game, Dinnerbone. Golly, man. Why? Why do these guys have to be eternally upset? So stupid. You know what? Screw everybody's stupid gold farm. Fix the freaking game. This is the dumbest thing ever. And even when they kill you, they're still mad. Stupid. Okay, now we're all buddies, huh? We're all buddies now? Except you guys. You guys aren't happy. What? What do we do? What do we do? just gathered up everything that's on this side of the portal. There are no more pigmen in the overworld that are mad. Look at this craziness. <laughs> Alright, so we need to try a different approach. Let's see. Another portal that will get us there is all the way out at the King of the Ladder. <laughs> Come on, get the ladder. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's always so nervous because it's like the last second. All right. Now, this should put us a little ways outside of the uh, of the hub. And doggone it. I don't have anything worth a darn in there. <sighs> I just want to get my stuff before it despawns. Wish me luck. Oh, you jerk. Oh, come on. Oh, no, this ain't happening. <laughs> ah, this is so rage inducing. Okay, it is a while. <laughs> it's a while later, and I got in here, I grabbed all the crap that I could, I dirt pillared up to the top here, and shot everybody with arrows, and there haven't been any new guys coming. There's a new guy right there. Are you mad, bro? I don't think so. I think we made it, and hopefully we're high enough from the the ground down there that anybody who's aggro down there has despawned. The ones way down on lava level. And there's nothing above us. So... Gosh darn, I hope... I hope they're gone. That sucked. The death loop of death. Okay, so let's finish this Joker up. By Joker, I mean the episode. And by the episode, I mean this laughing stock of crazy <laughs> getting wrecked by stupid pigmans. Fix your game, Dinnerbone. All right, so, again, we want all of our tunnels. See, look, I think we're good. I think we're good. We want all of our tunnels to be uh, indicative of where they go. And, uh, hmm. 
making me nervous. Uh, and this one's no different, okay? So we're going to use... Uh, uh, we're going to use this uh, this nether brick. And we're going to make kind of a, a, a nether fortress themed uh, entrance here. And I'm going to just use some stairs. Uh, really just kind of to, to build some extra character um, in this build. Um, of course, you know, the, the, the columns and everything, they're not going to be made out of stairs. But uh, um, I, think, uh, I think it'll just add a little bit of extra character to our build and and uh and that's kind of what i want just the extra depth that you don't normally see a little bit of um uh weathering i guess to the uh to the overall project so let's see like this i think yeah 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 because we want to build like windows inside here and uh we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of these guys on this side as well and I think a couple of those dudes. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's get rid of those three there. All right. So now that uh, now that, that silliness is over, um, let's see. Let's get back to what we're doing. All right. And I'm trying to think here. I want to put a window here. We want this to kind of extend off to the side. Yeah, that's going to be cool. And what about you? Oh, no, you're a window too. Right? Yeah. So we want windows here. Like this. All right. And then, uh, let's see, we got the fence. So we'll make like the typical windows that you see uh, in the uh, Nether Fortress. Guy, just watch. Okay? No hands on. Alright. And then also on the sides, I want to do... Let's see. Was it back one, I think? Kind of here... where it was yeah 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 that looks cool does that look yeah I think that looks just like I want it uh-huh yeah 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 okay and then let's get up on top um, can we do this let's see take these out whoa 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 like turbo jump Felt like I was spring loaded for a second. Okay. Like this. And then we'll place some half slabs up here on the top. And we can use these as a, for one, as kind of a, a crowning uh, block and also to prevent spawning. Particularly the ghasts. That's the one thing I'm worried about in these, uh, oops, in this nether hub project is gas spawning. I had one spawn. Um, just uh i think it was yesterday and i mean i swear i watched the guy spawn and then he just proceeded to freaking fireball the heck out of me and um uh, eventually i took him out but uh he he did create quite a bit of damage inside the uh um inside the hub here a uh, bunch of glass but again that's why we made the floor too thick so can't do too much damage I want to go forward with this one. Maybe like that. Yeah. Do some more of that depth we talked about, right? We'll see what that looks like from below. And then up here... Um, yeah, let's do this. Put some stairs up here. there. Whoops, not you. That was cool. It was like bong bong. And then we'll add a little bit more depth by place some irregular ceiling in here. Just like this. Kind of like what we've talked about all along. Alright. And 
let's just... Yeah, yeah, that looks cool. Okay. Take you out. And then let's just kind of, uh, let's see. Oh, no, not you. You, and you, and you. And I was kind of hoping for, uh, like, a, a blending of these two to come together here, but not sure we can achieve that as well as I want to. Let's get rid of this guy, and let's make him a stair. Like that, and then we can do... Uh, half slab, right? Perfect. We'll do another window right there. And then we can just work our ceiling in. And I'm just going to put some of these stairs randomly. Like that. And here. Bring that roof over like this. Yeah. Nope. How about we'll make you a stair? Is it... Mm, it's a little bonky for me. A little head bonky. So we'll take out that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. And we'll bring... Let's see. I need to get up on top again, I think. Or at least come from the back. Uh, like this. Okay. Um, dang it. Okay. I think we'll have just enough to stretch over this, and then we can put a... Yeah, 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 there we go. Awesome. Just some irregular shape back here, it's fine. Not a big deal. And then, um, let's see, what else? I think that's good, right? Oh yeah, that looks cool. Um, and then should we put... Like the little teeth? Like that? Yeah! Oh yeah, that looks sweet! That looks very fine, very fine. And then, you know what, we need to, uh, let's see, we need to kind of black this out. We'll create this depth right here. Let's see, you don't need to be... Oh, you know what? You need to be a stair or something, don't you? So when you're looking through, eh, no, we don't need that. Okay. All right. Now, also, if you remember right, this track branches off and it goes to the uh, to the big um, mine that we have. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yes, check this out. Let's see. Pow. Yeah. And if you remember right, this uh, this branches off, and it goes to the big mine that uh, that exists um, out near where uh, Creeper and uh, and uh, Zenicraft are building their base. So I'm gonna put some ores around here, and let's see, let's do that one, do that. Let's put some gold. Put a diamond up here. And then I brought this track. Yeah, cool. And then, let's see, let's put an anvil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, this way to the nether fortress where the withers are, and there's also a mining operation. Yes. I think I like that. I think... I like that. And this is going to be too much, right? Too much, I say. We'll just put it right there. Okay. 
just to get it out of my inventory. Anything else? Did I forget? No. Yep. Let's see here. How should we take a picture of this? Well. Do it like this. Cheese. Screenshot. We'll use that for, for the thumbnail, I think. All right, so we are going to wrap this up because I know this is dragging on. So let's see what we got here. All right. Task number one. Complete the automatic lighting. Done. Designated established. Da, 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 da. Nope. Done. Find all three strongholds and portals to the end. Create easy passage to each. Complete. On 29 December 14. Uh, let's see. There's a hub and tunnels to each stronghold from Nether. Perfect. Done. We have a direct tunnel to the Beacon Network. Uh, and another that spirals straight down. Oh, no arrows. All right, happy turkey day. Two tower tops, done. Cargo loading area, done. Lily Cat's bakery, done. Finish the nether hub already. All right. Done. This is also 29 December 14. It is done and and waiting for new and fabulous tunnels to areas explored and unexplored and do the happy dance oh snap you know what done 29 December 14 sign Oop, the honeydew two the book is signed. It's been closed. All the tasks have been completed, Amichi. And we are indeed ready to do the happy dance. Bounce, 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 mm -mm. Happy dance, dance, happy dance, 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 booty in the pants. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right, Amichi, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you have had yourself a merry little christmas and a great set of holidays this fabulous time of year i hope you all have a wonderful new year make some great resolutions tell me about what your resolutions are going to be uh and i'll share mine with the next time we get together i'm not usually the kind of person that makes resolutions but i definitely like to make goals because goals are fun just like our honeydew was fun and our honeydew is done and I'm done. And I'll see you later, Amici. Ciao a tutti. Bye-bye for now. Ciao, ciao.